Okay, we're looking at the Doctor Who game by Martin Wallace, and I thought I'd briefly explain how it works. Very briefly, though. Uh, here we have a location card, and you'll have these placed down in front of you. And the goal of the game is that you want to control these locations, and you can see the victory point worth of this location there. The way you'll get control of them is by playing them in front of you, and then the way you'll take control of other people is if someone places a, an enemy card there. They'll do that and then they'll place a marker there to indicate that they have uh, control of that enemy. This enemy will then be attacking that location and you can play a card in defence. So here I'll play a card in defence. Then you'll reveal the cards to see what value they are. And you'll see this enemy has a value of 8 and here I've played a doctor, his value is only 5. So this enemy will now take control of that location and the doctor goes. Now when you're playing you can actually, if you're playing in defence you can only play different cards down. So I could play a doctor and Amy but I couldn't play two doctors. The enemy cards work the opposite way. I could only play, if I wanted to play more cards there, I could only play uh, more of the same. So it's a little bit different there. And the goal of the game, as I said, you're trying to take control of these location cards. The way you'll do it is you'll start with five cards in your hand. Um, you'll play until you have three cards left, and then you'll pass those three cards along to the player that went before you. And so there's a drafting mechanic built in there. When you uh, get locations down, these are, indicate that you'll get three time tokens. And these are the time tokens here. You can cash those in to get extra cards from the deck and you can play those cards. So because of the way the drafting mechanic works, if I start my hand with five cards, I'll only be able to play two and then pass the three along. But if I spend the time tokens to get extra cards and I start my hand with six, I'll be able to play three cards and then pass the remaining three along. So there's some interesting uh, decisions to make. It, it's, it's a fairly light game, fairly quick. Our first game probably took us about an hour, including a rules explanation. And uh, yeah, that's the game, uh, Doctor Who. Very brief overview though. And as you can see, we'll just have a quick look at some of the, some of the artwork there. And uh, obviously this is a, a prototype. All right, see you.